Hi, I'm Al Woods of Woods Recruiting. Why do so many student athletes struggle with the college recruiting process? Confusion. Let's face the facts. The college recruiting process is very hard. It is very confusing. A lot of student athletes and their parents don't know exactly what they should do first, what they should do second, third, fourth, fifth. If you ask them to write down on a piece of paper a list of things to do with recruiting, it would be confusing. The list would not make any sense. And then they would change the order on the list the next day because it is confusing. And so a lot of people rather just to take on the challenges of the recruiting process decide to just leave it alone because it is so confusing, so challenging to figure out the steps. What do you do first? Everyone says do this thing first. Maybe that thing is not the thing to do. It could be you need a, a, a video. You need your SAT scores. You need to register with the NCAA Clearinghouse. You need to do all of these different things. You need to play on a club team. You know, every high school sports team has a club component. You need to play on a good club team. You need to play at a good high school. You need to have a good coach. You need to be at a good school. What is the factors that are involved? What are the grades that I need? What kind of schools am I going to target? Will these coaches find me? If they don't find me, what do I do? So it's all of these things and a whole lot more that makes the recruiting process extremely confusing. Procrastination. Now, if the college recruiting process is confusing, which it is, then many student athletes and their parents are going to procrastinate the process. They're just going to hold off and hope that they are discovered by a college program. They're going to hold off and hope that some kind of miracle happens in the recruiting process, but it's not going to happen. College coaches are not going to find you because you happen to play sports. There's a lot of student athletes that play sports. They'll just go find them. They'll just go deal with those who have reached out to them. So by sitting back and waiting one week, two weeks, four months, six months, by sitting back and waiting six months to a year or even longer, you're procrastinating and you could end up killing the entire recruiting process because you're not taking a proactive approach. It has happened all the time where student athletes and their parents thinking they're doing all the right things and maybe they are and maybe it's not going exactly according to plan so then they say let's just hold off. I have heard student athletes and their parents say things like we want to hold off to see what will happen in recruiting when the season is over. Things have got to change. Things have got to pick up when my son's season is over. Or let's wait and see what happens until uh, the club season starts. When my son is playing club ball, when my daughter is playing club ball, softball, baseball, volleyball, junior Olympic volleyball, then it's got to change because college coaches are out there during the summer months recruiting. And so it's got to change. So we'll hold off till then. But what you're doing is you're wasting valuable time. From the time the school year starts till the summer, that's nine months. Do you mean to tell me you're going to wait nine months of valuable time? that you're going to waste nine months of critical time, valuable time, before you even think about doing something with recruiting. In those nine months, 10 months, 11 and 12 months, something could be done. 
But so many people are scared of the recruiting process, they rather just hide from the process. And that's a bad thing to do. Don't procrastinate. The story needs to be told. Telling your recruiting story. Student athletes, who is going to tell your story and tell it to college coaches over and over again? That's really the big question. There's a whole lot of factors that are involved in the recruiting process. Lots of them. But telling your story is critical. That's going to separate you from the ones who are thinking about being recruited, want to be recruited, or who actually get recruited. Your story has to be told. And that's important in the overall college recruiting process. Yes, academics is important. Talent is important. How hard you work academically and athletically, all of those are factors and very, very important. Playing on the right high school team, playing on the right club team, those things are all important. You put all that together in a story, in a package that's told to a huge number of college coaches. Thanks for listening. I'm Al Woods.